Hey everyone, Necrovarius back with another episode of Hand of Fate. If you remember, in the last episode, we journeyed through um, the level, if you will, of the Jack of Skulls and took him down and unlocked a lot more cards. So we are going to continue on. And uh, I'm going to mute my phone here because that's been going like crazy. Let us continue. Another round, and our game truly begins. We're going to continue in story mode, because we haven't beaten this before in story mode. And as you'll see, we are on the Queen of Dust. Oh, curses, money bags. In combat, the player's movement speed is reduced by how much gold they possess. Interesting. Look at that. Okay. A bold woman, this one. She did not collapse when the Empire did. No. She took up arms, organized her people, and vowed that in a country where death had gathered, she would be the one dealing it. Hmm. Let's over to the deck builder. Now, last time, we didn't really do the deck builder. I'm not ready for it yet either, so we're just going to go with a recommended equipment and encounter deck still. Just to make it easy. And I'm not going to show it because I don't want to know. We will continue to start the game. Now we play for the cup. The first of my symbols. I've added some cards to spice up the game. Oh, goody. In addition to the pain and gain decks, there are now blessings and curses. Choose your steps carefully. So let me just check, did we keep anything from last time? No, we start always, it looks like, with the rusty axe. Okay, let's take our first step. Lucky! You gotta be kidding me. This is Mr. Lionel, as before, if you remember, it's the goblin who is dressed like a human. And if we give him something, he will indeed return us something. So let's give him bread from our plate, like we did last time. Again, we give him the bread, he considers the bread seriously before placing it carefully in his coat pocket. Seemingly satisfied. Draw one equipment card. There we are. Oh yes, and we got Fortitude's breath again. Beautiful. Super happy. Okay. Let's continue. Let's take our next card. The Twisted Canyon. As we know from before, this is something we've encountered. You see a weapon glinting in the sunlight. We will climb down and attempt to retrieve it. Three success, one failure is our outcome. Choose from these options. Yes! And we got it again. Make our way to the bottom of the canyon and retrieve one equipment card. Desperate measures. This mace inflicts more damage the lower the health of the wielder. is also imbued with holy, so undead take extra damage to it. And cannot resurrect. Yes, we want to really? wield that. Is that what you're going to do? Well, of course. Let's continue on to the next card. I don't like it. Ooh, the helpful priest. I priest, haven't had this one. Gods and eternal damnations. I have no track with any of it. Again, a token is at stake. Hmm. You meet a wandering priest who greets you in a friendly manner. For a small share of your provisions, I will bless you in the name of the old gods. So we can give him half of our food or decline. We will give him half of our food. We win no matter what we do, but if we can get that huge success... No. Darn. So we gave him half of our food. He says a few words in the language of the old religion and gently touches your forehead. It is done. Draw one blessing card. The card's token is now mine. So that gave me holy touch. Blessings will remain always active and are never removed. Unless you die, of course. Mm. Then you're back where you began, as always. 
So, we now have Holy Touch. Undead that physically strike the player may receive damage themselves. Very good. Like Take the token. It is yours. Thank you. Like a thorn mail, if you think of it, kind of, but for undead. And of course, this will be our stairs. Head downwards, if you dare. Of course, we will continue. There's nowhere else to go. <laughs> Let's take the stairs. You embark upon the next leg of your adventure. This game is still only beginning. New rules, new tools, new abilities. We have far to go as yet. Hmm. Let us tackle our first card. I don't like Every it. Every step you take consumes food, but you will also heal as you proceed. The landlocked lubber. This is something we opened last time. As you plunder the secrets of your memories, you'll gain new cards. Some you'll wish you'd left untouched. Oh, of course. The door to the landlocked lover opens with a creak, breaking the silence like a thunderclap in a tomb. Welcome, traveler. Before I can treat you with our hospitality, I must ask you a very important question. Have you seen, heard, or God forbid, smelled a kraken? We have not, so I guess we're going to explain that we've never seen a kraken. Consider yourself lucky. There is no more fouler beast than a kraken. I am Carlo. Welcome to the landlocked lover. After giving you some time to enjoy the warmth and some stale bread, Carlo approaches you. I've heard rumors of boats going missing from the small village port of Nolwich. No, yeah, Nolwich. No survivors, no witnesses. Nolwich port is run by bandits, thieves, and smugglers. There's no way to know what really happened there. Perhaps you could have a look around and find more. I would go, of course, but I have this place to look after. Carlo gestures to the empty, damp, damp-ridden flea hole that he calls a home. This card's token is now ours. So we get the token for our uh, endeavors. Interesting. Okay. Now we have a dilemma. We're running low on food. As you can see, I have six. I'm gonna go this way. Yes! The Maiden! Lucky us! Let's continue. We've encountered this card before. Remember, it's an elf maiden, and she gives us one of three wishes. I can ask for longer life, for gold, or for supplies. I will ask her for supplies. And the dealer will draw me two food gain cards. The first one is three. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Oh, incredibly. The next one is ten. Perfect. Many enchanted weapons have powerful abilities that can turn the tide of battle, but only if their wielder remembers to use them. Farewell, mortal. Thank you, maiden. Let's take... Another card. Oh, I don't like it. What is this? Hitch it's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. I've never had this card before. Let's take a look. You found a friendly trader willing to let you ride on his wagon. You have discovered the exit to this area. No, I'm gonna turn back right now. You tell the trader to go ahead without you. No reason to take that. Because there's a shop, lucky us! Okay. Very good. In a shady grove off the beaten trail, you find a traveling merchant looking to trade with wandering adventurers. We will approach the shop, hopefully. There's something there for us. Greetings, wise traveler. I have much to offer you. We could heal wounds if we needed to. Is there anything that we can sell? Not really. Is there anything we can buy? Mercenary contract is 40. Angel's wing. The hell Move abuse quickly from here. There is little material gain to be made. Ah, uh, crap. We don't have any gold for any of this. What is this? With practice and good timing, you can reflect ranged attacks. No. Thing that I need. And the healing cap I also don't have enough force. In my day, we simply avoided being wounded. Healing will suffice, however. <laughs> Nothing we can do here. We have enough food, so we will just trudge along. Let's head back to the 
hitch a ride card. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal kingdom. So we will hitch a ride this time. You embark on the next leg of my journey. You are close on her trail, and more confident than I had imagined. Hmm. Perhaps you will play beyond this mark, and we will see your true metal. So here's the big problem we have as well. I've only been fortunate, so every bad thing is going to happen this time. Let's take our first steps. Traveling healer. Very, very good. However, I don't need that, so I will pass that by. Mm. Now, I can go anywhere I want here. I'm going to continue on here, though. Devil's choice. I like this demon. Oh. He lies as often as he tells the truth. Of course he would. What does this do? There is a token in it for us, it looks like. Let us stake a token on their foolishness. A cloaked devil appears in your path. I am here to test your might, so-called hero. Choose your foe. Let's see what we have. Two of dust, two of skulls, or two of dust. We will take the two of skulls. You are no mighty hero. I will let you live with your choice. Remember, we have Fortitude's Breath as well as Desperate Measures. And Desperate Measures, it does a lot of damage. Now, the combat isn't now the greatest. Now begin to raise the stakes. The arena itself will fight against you. I'll beware of my traps. Oh boy. That was too easy. The deck that's been dealt to me is quite good. Very well. Excellent, the devil cries. You have passed my cunning test. Have some treasure. Perhaps next time our paths cross, I will kill you myself. So it looks like this card, once defeated, the dealer draws me three gain cards, and we get the token. Very good. We get three food. Very good. We get to draw one armory equipment, which is better. Get a shield. Eh. Now you can counter opponents if your timing is right. We're going to say no to equip that. And then we gain 25 gold, which I think we can head back to the shop. I'm going to be greedy and continue on, though. Rockfall. This is a, a terrifying new... walk to get to the Queen. Mm. So many potential places for an assailant to get the upper hand. Of course. What does this do? While journeying near, journeying near the coast, you hear a rumble overhead. Falling rocks force you to take cover. Obviously, we have to attempt to dodge the rocks. Oh, boy. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. My mother said to pick the very best one, and you are it! Nope. While fleeing, you are struck by several rocks. The dealer draws you one pain card. Ooh, 15 health. Oh, okay. dear. Just when you think it's over, you are knocked unconscious by a large rock striking your unprotected head. A good warrior always wears the helmet you remember. Hours later, when you awaken, you find some of your supplies are missing. Oh, jeez. I lost five gold. Ouch. And I lose 30% gold. Oh, jeez. Let us continue on. I don't like it. The Queen of Dust. Noble courses turn to rotten enterprise. You may win this battle and send the queen to her rightful end. Yet, what have you gained in the process? Alright, so it's time to fight her. I didn't get to any of the other cards. Bummer, but that is so how the deck is. Let us fight the queen of dust. I will happily wager on the outcome. I do not think you have what it takes. Thanks, dealer. You're kind of a dick.
I have no special equipment either. She's got a bloody crossbow. Not good. Let's fight. That's undodgeable. I'm okay if they hit her. Jeez. Not good, mates. I gotta take these guys out first. I gotta dodge that. I gotta counter that, I suppose. I'm kinda stuck here. <laughs> it doesn't even hurt her. Oh gosh, get away. Oh, that hurt. Come on. She is not friendly at all, and she is a lot harder than any normal bandit, you are absolutely right. Let her do her attacks. There she goes! We got her! A little bit more of a challenge. Let's collect her card. Nope. Oh, we have to kill her crossbow, don't we? This crossbow does not like There we go. And now we can collect her car. Alright guys, we got her! Good! It only took a few hits, not too bad at all. Inevitable, I suppose. So often those who beat plowshare to sword die by the grim instruments of their industry. Oh. Still, she fought well and bravely, which is all I expect from my pawns and players. So we did get an upgrade from that, the goblet upgrades. Stronger counterattacks, your counterattacks do more damage. Increased stun, new starting gear, bandit strengths have increased, skeleton strengths have increased, and bandit throwing knives. Oh boy, so the deck gets harder. You have earned the first of the symbols of my power and passed the first gate. There is no turning back now. Previously I was merciful, but now I cannot be. It is begun. I crafted each of these cards over the course of years. You have taken them from me in mere moments. So let's activate our tokens and see what we have earned. Dealing with the helpful priest we have received. Health potion gain. Healer's ring. And charity. Your meeting with Carlo of the landlocked lubber gains us this card. Smuggler's Wharf. For surviving the Devil's Choice, we have received Devil's Wager. And as a reward for defeating my bandit queen, we have received these cards as well. Jack of the Plague, Asleep in the Forest, Field of Poppies, Battle at Brooktop. And last but not least, also as a reward, we have unlocked Fleet Cuffs. Armor of Cold. Huge hammer. Let us add those to the deck. Come. Play again. Alright guys, so we have defeated 
the Queen of Dust unlocked our first upgrade, and we will continue this in the next episode. I hope you are enjoying this series as much as I am. I am having a very good time. This brings me back to old school tabletop games. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you'd like, and if you want to see me keep doing stuff like this, and we will see you in the next episode. Bye.